Alright, here we are hopefully on the last part of this um, major modelling and then we'll get on to the detailing. Um, well it's four in the morning, uh, once again doesn't look like I'll be sleeping. Um, I need a far less time consuming hobby than this. Um, Alright, let's click, crack into it. Um, we need a cube, we're going to make the mounting block here. Um, So that's way down there. Um, we want this cube to be. Uh, what did we put on the other ones? About. Um, oh, I've totally lost what I'm doing. Um, that's what a lack of sleep and a lack of coffee will get you. Um, 100 across the X, I think. Um, That was um, want to centre that roughly in our cube, about like that. Um, that's looking rough enough. Um, I've gone beyond caring, really. Um, I want to get on to doing the fun stuff, and I bet you do too. Uh, let's make this editable, and want to select this bottom polygon, and right-click, and we want to extrude that down into the foot. Um, that'll look nice and pretty I suppose. Um, we're going to mount this on the body. Um, if, we're having it, if you're mounting it vertically you don't need to change any angles here. Um, I'm going to be mounting it with the body angled out in front 20 degrees. Um, so I'll select this top polygon here. Um, I'll extrude it a tiny bit. Just like that. And while I'm here I'll grab the rotate tool and hold shift and rotate that 20 degrees. Um, so when we come to extrude it next time it'll extrude on the right angle into the body. Um, yeah, so we need to make a mounting block for this as well. Um, we'll rename this to um, mount block or foot mount or whatever you want so long as you can find it when you want it and drag that inside the foot and we need um, something to mount it on on the base um, we've made that before we're going to make it exactly the same again so we want a cylinder um, again it's way in the middle somewhere not very helpful and we need to have that on the X axis Uh, we want a radius of about 200, uh, 150, sorry, <coughs> um, 36 is fine for segments and 200 is fine for height. Um, we are going to delete the top half of that, so make it editable, hit C, um, grab your rectangle select and go into the left or right hand view. Uh, the speed I'm going here, it's going to take two tutorials to get this done, we'll delete that. Undo, um, it's doing its old delete the object, not what you've selected trick. Delete, there we go, and we've got to close the polygon hole. Um, those of you who had been paying attention knew that was coming. And no, we can't just close it with the close polygon hole, we have to create a polygon for it. Um, which is the odd number of points and the silly general shape of it. So we've got that there, we want to jump into the front view and we're going to make a couple of cuts. Um, it's exactly the same as the other mount um, we've done before, so structure, knife, cut it on a plane, um, the XY plane. Um, YZ plane, sorry, and just chop, chop, um, grab your rectangle selection, set those points there to minus 50. And the ones on the other side to 50. And we want to grab a selection of polygons. 
those ones there, delete and our rotational axis in the right place, it's on the top of our cylinder so if we jump back to perspective mode um, my body's rotated from a test so I'll rotate that back to zero um, if yours is rotated, set it back to zero um, we want a point selection on our body to grab the measurement for how far down we are on the world axis of course um, minus 1609.991 is where mine's at yours should be somewhere similar to that depending on extrudes you've made and we want to grab our cylinder and set our Y size to that point hit apply undo that of course, we want to click that magic object tool um, still don't know the name and apply and that's gone to the right place and you'll see he's mounted down on the bottom now if we get down there, there he is and we need to grab a point for the foot um, so grab one of your not that feet one of those foots into point mode and he's down the bottom so we'll grab that point which is at minus 205.958 and now foot up here make sure you've clicked the magical move button I'm going to set our height to that um, our axis is in the middle of our original cube, so we need to add 100 to that. Um, so control V is minus 205.958 plus 100, and that'll fly off down the bottom and be on the right place for where we want it. And we can move that forward a touch, grab our dome, and rotate him the 20 degrees. Um, undo that. I'll actually save the video here, I think I'm out of time.